Never Stop Learning, week 300. We're gonna take a quick look at crop image in Adobe Illustrator CC 2017. All right, so crop image is a new feature for Creative Cloud users. This is actually something we've been wanting to see in Illustrator for a really long time, because it's gonna be pretty much a good time saver for us. All right, so I've got an image on my clipboard. I'm gonna hit Command V, and that's gonna paste in that image. So this image is embedded into this document. That means all the pixels live right here on this artboard. Now this is not a linked image, but I'll show you how to work with the linked image next. All right, so here I have my image selected. Over here at the top, right in the middle, we have this button here that says crop image. Click on that once. Notice the controls change, and then we have a new bounding box. All right, so over here at the top, starting at the left, it says cropping just to let you know what's going on. Over here for PPI, you actually have control over the resolution of this image. So currently it's set to 146, but I could drop it down to a resolution of 72, and I could always go back to my original. All right, next we have a reference point. Basically, this is gonna control where we're creating our transformations from. Currently I have it set to the center, as you can see here, and it's gonna be growing out from the middle. All right, here we have X and Y. So that's gonna be the location of our bounding box here, or this cropping box. And you could also enter in a specific value for your horizontal and your vertical. Now I'm just gonna use these handles here. I'm gonna start over here on the left, right in the middle. Click and drag. All right, so if I hold down the Option key on a Mac, Alt on a PC, now I'm able to affect both sides. All right, so now here we go, moving in towards the center, and I'm gonna release. All right, you could hit enter or return on your keyboard. I'm just gonna come over here to the top and click apply. All right, and that's gonna commit to that crop. Now if I go into outline mode by hitting command Y, notice we are just left with this square here. We don't have extra pixels hanging out anywhere. This is not masking. We are actually eliminating those pixels. This is now a true crop in Illustrator. All right, so that's really cool. I'm gonna jump into a different artboard because I wanna show you what happens when you're working with a linked image. All right, so I'm gonna place an image right over here, this pond image, I'm gonna hit place, and click and drag just to bring it into the document. All right, over here on the top left, it says that this is a linked file. So we're basically just looking at the image that I have stored on my hard drive. Now I wanna crop away these shoes over here at the bottom. So over here at the top, I'm gonna click on crop. Now we get this warning. It says cropping a linked file embeds a copy of the original. The original file at the linked location is not affected. All right, so that's really cool. It's actually gonna make a copy of it right into this document. It's gonna embed it for us. All right, if you no longer wanna see this image, just click on don't show again. I'm gonna click okay. All right, now I get my little crop bounding box here. I'm gonna click and drag, get rid of those shoes, and then click apply. All right, so now it's gone. All right, so this is just affecting our embedded image here. Now I'm gonna place that same image one more time just to show you that none of those pixels were harmed. All right, so there we go. There's our shoes back. So the original is fine. And then over here we have our embedded image that is now cropped in Adobe Illustrator. So there you have it folks. That's a quick look at crop image in Adobe Illustrator CC 2017.